Hey kickboxing enthusiasts! Today we're diving into the thrilling world of kickboxing and putting two legendary styles head to head. It's gonna be legendary! Kyokushin and Muay Thai. Get ready for an epic showdown. Let's talk about K1 rules, formerly known as Oriental rules. The kickboxing style lets you go all out with leg kicks. It all started with Kenji Kurosaki's unique twist on Kyokushin karate and his encounters with Thai boxers in Thailand. What a powerful combo. Now, let's meet the contenders. On one side, we've got kickboxers who train exclusively in gyms teaching K1 rules. It's a hit among the Dutch and Japanese fighters. On the other side, we've got those who rock Muay Thai or Kyokushin karate backgrounds and adapt their skills to kickboxing. This is going to be a wild fight. First up, Kyokushin, known as the strongest karate. These fighters are all about knockdown karate, going for knockouts or knockdowns. But here's the catch, no face punches allowed. Some people argue it's not very realistic, but these warriors don't seem to mind. Fighters like Glob, Feitosa, Francisco Firho, and Tenshin Nazukawa all started in Kyokushin before jumping into kickboxing. Now, Kyokushin strengths in the kickboxing arena. These guys are like tanks. Fair knuckle body punches and brutal low kicks. Their pain tolerance and fearlessness makes them real tough cookies. Plus, Kyokushin's fast and close range style suits the three round kickboxing bouts perfectly. Squaring quickly and effectively is their secret sauce. But wait, there's a twist. Kyokushin fighters have to get used to dealing with head punches, something they don't usually encounter. It's like learning to defend a whole new set of attacks. Also, Kyokushin training spent a lot of time on traditional stuff like kata and bunkai. Will help, but not the best for kickboxing. More sparring, less formality. Now, let's check out Kyokushin's cons. That lack of head punching can be a real problem. Top Kyokushin fighters, including Fuho and Hug, admit that learning to defend their heads consistently is tough. Training without head punches dulls the reaction to such attacks, which can be risky in kickboxing, where head punches are allowed. Also, spending too much time on traditional forms might not be the most effective way to develop kickboxing skills. Next up, the powerhouse that is Muay Thai, the art of eight limbs. It's like a kickboxing buffet with punches, kicks, knees, and elbows on the menu. And guess what? Unlimited clinching and sweeps are totally allowed. That's why Thai fighters rock the kickboxing world. Muay Thai trainings is no joke. It equips you with all of the tools for kickboxing glory. Techniques like the teep, which is front push kick, give Thai boxers a massive edge, controlling the distance like pros. But hey, there's a little hiccup. Transitioning to kickboxing means leaving behind some moves, like those fancy clinches and elbows. And that's why Muay Thai's cons, since kickboxing prohibits unlimited clinching and elbows, Thai boxers who excel in these techniques might struggle to adjust their game to be more boxing focused. Excessive clinching to avoid damage can also lead to point reductions, making it hard to dictate the pace of a kickboxing match. Plus, Muay Thai's typical slow and steady start might catch some fighters off guard. So after this thrilling showdown, who's the winner? Muay Thai takes the crown for kickboxing, but don't get us wrong, Kyokushin is a solid foundation too. Both have produced incredible fighters, and anyone from these two tough styles can rock the kickboxing world. Would you have chosen Muay Thai for the winner? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.